So we practice what we teach. I own these diversified allocations. Let me ask you, what do you think, after seeing everything that I showed you today, what do you think I'm going to do for myself? What do you think I'm going to do for my family, my wife, my kids? What do you think I'm going to do for you guys, for our clients? Who I really care, Scott and I care deeply about you guys. We don't want you to make the same mistakes that other investors make. So I'm going to do for me and for my family and for you these things right here. I'm going to stay prudent. I'm going to stay diversified worldwide. I'm going to stay diversified in many asset classes, not just stocks. I'm going to stay disciplined and patient. I'm going to rebalance small amounts out of hot asset classes and funds, and I'm going to rebalance small amounts into down asset classes and funds. And I'm going to do all that to keep my risk consistent. And above all, I'm going to avoid forecasting, predicting, guessing, and market timing. And I'm not going to pay attention to any of those guys on TV that try and make you believe that they can do things that they can't do. And that's a whole nother class that we teach. So what happens is we see the investors repeating the same mistakes over and over again. The coast and clear, they want to buy, things are bad, they want to sell. Happens over and over again. Diversification, it's easy to say, it's extremely hard to do. Extremely hard to remain disciplined over long periods of time. There's uncontrolled fear and greed emotions that get in the way. So what I can tell you is a prudent, broadly diversified portfolio is rarely the problem. The behavior is almost always the problem. You have the fear and the greed and definitely the impatience. Now, Common response from a new unseasoned investor that starts in a low return period or even a negative period. We hear this from time to time. I've heard this probably a dozen times over the years. So if you're one of the people that have said it to us, you're not the only one. So we've heard it before. I've had low returns over the last few years, or last couple of years, and particularly last year was negative. You know, um, we'll see how it goes for another year. When I hear that from an investor, I already know their expectations are out of line. I already know they're headed for one of these behavior mistakes. They are not in the right mindset. They are in a short-term focused mindset. I haven't done a good enough job of educating them about the investment strategies, about investment behavior. Now hopefully, going forward, if they continue to attend the classes, if they continue to watch the videos, if they read our newsletters, hopefully they'll pick it up. They talk to some of our seasoned investors that come to the classes and you guys can talk to each other. That helps too. So, but when I hear that statement, let's see how it goes for another year. I know they're in the wrong mindset. So seasoned investors know patience. Patience in Wikipedia is quiet, steady perseverance. Persevering in the face of delay. Patience is also a form of action, too. Seasoned investors also know perseverance. Perseverance is steadfastness in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. Steady persistence in course of action, especially in spite of difficulties or obstacles. We must persevere in our investing strategies to get those returns that I showed you earlier. Any of you that have been to my office and had meetings know that I have this up on my wall right behind my desk. So if you're facing me and you're having a meeting with me, you see it up there right on the wall. And it is a lesson on perseverance. So it's a constant reminder to me to persevere for you, for me and my family also. So here's what it says. Perseverance. In the confrontation between the stream and the rock, the stream always wins. Not through strength, but through persistence. Seasoned investors, proper perspective. Going back to it, five years, better yet, for a lifetime and beyond.